Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn with Arjun. In this Python series, we will be creating a treasure hunt game. That's right, a treasure hunt game. In a treasure hunt game, it is important for us to take input from the user and display the output. I mean, by that I mean interacting with the user. So that is what we are going to look today. We, are, we will also look at storing the input and displaying the output. So I am just going to enter a new line. Type input. Do you want to play question mark? And if we run, we have a space to actually enter whatever we want. So now as you can see, some of you, it's... For some of you, it might seem not so clean. So, if you want to make it clean, after that you can put a colon and a space. Now it looks more clean. And we can enter yes over here. It actually currently does nothing because we haven't displayed the output. So, to do that, we enter a new line. And the main thing over here is, uh, make sure you're not, you don't do it over here. Yeah, it will cause an issue. So make sure you do it after the input because if you do it before the input, it base it well, one second. It basically prints it up before you even enter. So make sure you put it out after the input, and we can say print, and we can write. And if we run and if we enter yes, just let it start it. But you might actually notice if we enter no, it still says let's get started. And uh, that is because that we'll be covering this issue in the next episode. But for now, we can just leave it like this. So now let's look at storing this particular thing in a variable. So what I mean by variable is... If I think of variables, I think it as containers or boxes that you give a particular name or data type. So the data type and a data type. So the data type is actually not the name for the variable. It's the type for the variable. Variables can hold many complex data types, but we're not going to dive into that. So the four main data types that you have to learn are string, integer, float, and boolean. So string, integer, float and boolean. These are the three, four main data types. So you might be thinking if you already know what's an integer and you have heard of an integer and float, you might be thinking what is the difference between those two. Well, an integer stores a whole number and a float stores a decimal number or a whole number. So now we can assign a variable over here. So we can just write play. I just did a space and left arrow. So now you might have noticed that we show this red. That's too much room. Red squiggly lines all over this place. And we can see also red over here. And if we run, it says we actually give an error. It actually gives an error in valid syntax error. So that is because we act, Python doesn't know this is a variable yet because we haven't assigned a value. So to assign this this value to a variable, it's so easy. We can just write an equals and it's done. Now we shouldn't be getting the error. Now it's exactly the same, but we can use this player we were. As you can see, it also come in the search now let's look at data types. So you don't need to write this. I am just declaring a new variable. So what I am doing is, these are all the data types. As you can see, this is an integer, this is a float, and this is going to be a string. So I'll just write. 
and the next one is going to be a boolean now if you run all of this in an other language let's not say python in c sharp or any of those it's actually going to give an error because in python especially in python python actually understands that this is an int over here it's a float over here it's a string and over here it's a boolean so you don't have to go and define okay this is an integer this is a float and we don't we don't need to do all of that python really understands by its own so now i'm just going to delete those are data types and now if you want to make this play not only an integer well you simply write int over here now brackets shift 9 and at the end another brackets now if we run and if we give a string over here this is a string it gives an error and if we even if we give a float or a boolean it gives an error if we give an int however it doesn't give an error because we only want an integer so even if you look at the error it says literal for int and this is basically saying an int yes isn't an integer so now we can also write float over here float this can accept the int also so they actually converts if i just enter 3 it it just says a 3.0 so 3 is 3.0 for it we can also put 5.7 but as you can might have guessed we can't put an int or a boolean so now let's enter boolean over here and this can only do true or false so now you might have guessed why am I not entering string like this. So if we, it actually doesn't come in the search and it also gives us an error and it actually, if you just leave it like this, not assign a data type at all, it is actually assigned a data type and by normal this data type is already a string. So. We don't need to assign string in any language so you can enter yes over here and it disables the it uh, displays the output so this is pretty much it for this video and in the next video we'll see if we enter yes it's going to take us to the screen and if we enter no it's going to take us to the screen so you might have thinking why is my uh, color black well if you just go to settings over here and change the theme to from it'll be like this but if you change it this is actually not so good for eyes like if you're spending a lot of time over here it's actually not good for eyes if you make this a light theme i would suggest make it dark this is a bit better for eyes so this is pretty much it for this video and i will see you in the next video bye bye